Hello everyone. So, how many people here find Agile easy? Okay, so we've got one person. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so this is like kind of the Agile conference and none of us find Agile easy. So, um, how many find Agile easy to understand? Yeah, okay, pretty much everybody. So we've got a difference between understanding and doing. And I propose this is because understanding and doing require uh, something different about ourselves. It's not about something we do, it's about something we are. Uh, the original, um, uh, when uh, they got together with the, uh, in 2001, uh, one of the other words proposed as an agile was adaptive. And uh, we, don't, uh, we don't do adaptive. It doesn't make sense, right? We be adaptive, just like we be agile. Uh, so it got me thinking about, well, what does this mean? We talked about this idea of the mindset. And uh, I got pretty sick of seeing Yoda and, uh, 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 you know, the force and redo kind of thing. So I thought, well, let's have a look and let's kind of have a look and see what this mindset actually is. What does this actually mean? Uh, and it, it occurred to me that what it actually meant was that I have to show up with a different thing. I have to do something different. It meant that other people had to do something different. But how do we have those conversations? How do we come and say, I want you to behave differently? You know, what kind of belief systems do you have which actually allow you to make Agile work. What do we need to change in that? So what I'm going to do now, in the probably hardly any time I've got left, is just to cover <laughs> some, uh, a topic that probably normally takes again about 45 minutes, and I'm going to condense this down to three minutes. So I've got one minute for each area of where I think that humans have developed over the last 500 years. So we've got three minutes through 500 years of human history on identity. So you know, I've kind of uh, set myself an easy task here. Right? <laughs> okay, so 500 years ago, right, we've got coming on in 10 minutes, there we go. 500 years ago, we lived in what I call the age of dependency. So we were pretty much dependent on somebody else telling us what our reality was. Uh, Frederick Lillet's book, uh, Reinventing Organization, talks about a conformist type of organization, hierarchical structure with somebody telling us how it was. We had two things there. If you were uh, your identity, which was given to us by your position in society, and the belief that reality was absolute. Okay, so that's kind of who we were. So the age of enlightenment came around 400 years ago, the scientific revolution. So something interesting happened here, which I did not realize, which was that human beings started to think of themselves differently. We started to think of ourselves as autonomous individuals with a non-corporeal mind. Now, when we look back and we talk about conformity, we talk about things back four or 500 years, we do so with the brain we have now, which means we think of those guys as having to conform. They're drudging along, they've got to do as you're told, and if you don't do as you're told, you're gonna get burnt at the stake or some such similar thing. But people didn't think like that, they were not individuals. So, we, the age of, that's why it's the age of enlightenment. We became different types of people, we believed something different about ourselves. We became individuals. So the next period of time I call the age of individualism. So uh, science, for example, is the, um, okay, then I'm really up to speed up now. <laughs> <laughs> so science was about uncovering, or is about uncovering the absolute reality. So that part of our existence didn't change. Let's roll forwards. I'm gonna miss out about 300 years now because I've got a minute left. Um, so we roll forwards into about the 1950s, 1960s, and we came up with something called constructivism. This is where we start realizing that our realities are subjective. We start looking at the fact that ourselves can only see a small part of reality. So I have a colleague who has a great saying is that everybody is right, but only partially. We can all only see part of reality. So now roll on forwards again, we created something called the internet. So this is a network, a massive network, and through social media, through uh, rapid market change, all these kind of things, we're seeing that we're actually part of a network. And in it's rather than individuals, we're starting to see that our reality is actually created by not only ourselves, but the interactions that we have. So just like uh, when we believed ourselves to be individuals, we created the corporate entity, which is an entity, uh, an uh, individual entity, we're now starting to create networked organizations. So, 
in my extremely short summary, I would say that the... <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna do one sentence for that and then we're gonna finish. So, this agile change that we're seeing is the result of an underlying change in consciousness of who we are. We're changing into networked individuals who are interdependent. This is the age of interdependence. And Agile is the tools to change our organizations to reflect from a hierarchical system to a network system which reflects the belief of who we are. Thank you.